Um, hi there guys, today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial about how to create a video using multiple videos on one single frame. It's pretty easy and effective and, and I've completed a demo that I would like to share with you and well, I'll just show it to you now. And then after this demo I'll launch Sony Vegas 11.0 up and I'll well we'll just get down and dirty I suppose. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, hi guys, we're back again and as you can see I've launched Sony Vegas. Pro 11.0. Can think if it was Pro or just normal. Um, um, so start off. You have to go into File, go to Open, and then you select your chosen um, video you're going to use. So go into that. Um, Three minutes, three minutes. Um, libraries, documents. <coughs> Doesn't help when I don't know what most of these things are. Um, drivers, go into that. Okay, and as I can see from here, yes, yeah, fine. Um, what you do is <coughs> delete this track. So, once you've gone into file and open you select your clip that you want to put in it make sure it's mp4 because sometimes if it's saved onto a different format like avi or wmv it will come up pixelated and fuzzy i had this problem the first time with sony vegas and i didn't know what to do because i was a newbie but yeah so you open your um piece of video and then you want you'll want to delete the um the um, sound or the music track which is below it but it's only if you don't want sounds in your multi video thing which I don't really want because it will conflict with the other ones and simply what you do is you go into file and then open or no you could just go into here documents um, you could just drag it on there you go I've got one here drag the same clip again or you can drag a different one and then you delete the, the um, soundtrack again and so now we've got two videos and what you do is if it's if the vi clips aren't big enough you just zoom in pressing this little plus sign at the bottom and you keep pressing plus until you've got p pan and crop sorry and what you do is you can shrink about you can shrink how big you want the video and stuff like that so the bigger it is the smaller it will get and the smaller it is the bigger it will get so for example if I shrink that down it will get bigger if I shrink that up it will get smaller so it all depends really of course you get the other one grab that and then I wanted to make it slightly smaller and then you move it around Okay, that's slightly cool for me. Um, and then you grab, you crop the other one. I don't want it overlapping. Sometimes it's okay to have it in the corner. Um, call it that. And put another one in. Actually, I'm gonna look for another one. Hang on. Seconds. Right, I'm going to put that one in. Delete track. Um, 
I'm gonna make this a bit bigger and I'm gonna move it around to this edge here which I cannot currently see because I'm blind um, I'm joking um, and then I'm gonna pick a white background you don't have to have a white background but I prefer to use white because it makes it stand out more so if I go into here they go I just call it random things so if it's called download it doesn't really matter there you go there's your white background and then if you want to you can just add sounds to it or something I don't know so you see what rubbish I've got in my music yeah that doesn't really help there's one in here Where is, it? is that it? intro I'll try that I don't actually know what half these things are right let's try it guaranteed it will work though Yeah, well anyway you get the concept anyway but it's basically simple you put two or more clips into the same timeline at the same time and then you basically pan and crop so that they're both fitted into the same picture um, you can also add you know music or your own sounds and then you can add effects to it as well I'm going to add transitions um, blinds Let's do this one. I'm gonna put that one on the white because it's mostly it's mostly quite um you know the biggest part of it. So I'm gonna like do it from that. That's right. It's fine. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Um your bond or something dissolve yep fine let me do a little dissolver um fly in tumble in spin away um you shuffle bond or I had a really good one before Spin. No. Linear loop. Gonna do that for this one. Um. I don't really care what it is because it's best thing I've got. So that's how you do it anyway. I'm now gonna render this as um <laughs> I'm gonna call this um intro tucks I'm gonna put I'm gonna call it um do video W M V don't worry when you rent if you render it as a WMV it won't come up pixelated. It's only if you um open a WMV file or AVI or stuff something like that. It just comes up pixelated because it's how it's rendered um in the other programs. So anyway I'm just gonna call it again. Type will do for me. Um render takes like three minutes to do a tiny like tiny thing like that anyway get this and then i will show you the finishing result so thanks guys and thanks for watching